Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are the different data normalization or data scaling techniques in data mining and how to apply those techniques on a given data set. There are mainly four data normalization or data scaling techniques available in data mining. The first one is min max normalization. Second one is z score normalization using mean and standard deviation. Third one is z score normalization using mean and mean absolute deviation. Fourth one is normalization using decimal scaling. I will discuss each of these particular techniques with the help of a simple example. Let us take uh, an example consisting of uh, five data points. The data points are 200, 300, 400, 600 and 1000. Uh, First we will discuss uh, min-max normalization. In min-max normalization we need to know what is the minimum value as well as we need to know what is the maximum value. In this case the minimum value is 200 and the maximum value is 1000 over here. Next uh, we need to use this formula to calculate the normalized data that is v is always equal to x minus uh, min divided by max minus min over here. x is the data point, min is the value what we have already identified and max is the maximum value in this particular given data point. Now once you put these particular values in this particular equation, you will get 0 as the normalized value with respect to 200, 0.125 as the normalized value with respect to 300 and so on. So these are the normalized values with respect to the min-max normalization over here. Now coming back to the next uh, normalization technique that is uh, z-score normalization. In z-score normalization, we use this particular equation that is z is always equal to x minus uh, mu divided by delta that is uh, mu is a mean in this case and delta is a standard deviation over here. So first we need to calculate the mean. Mean is always equal to sum of all the values divided by 5 that is equal to 500 in this case. Standard deviation is calculated using uh, this formula that is square root of summation of uh, xi minus mu bracket square divided by n in this case where xi is the current data point, mu is the mean whatever we have already calculated divided by n is the total number of uh, data points over here. So in the first case it will become 200 minus uh, 500 bracket square because 200 is the data point and the mu is uh, 500 in this case bracket square plus 300 minus 500 bracket square and so on divided by 5 because 5 data points are there. Standard deviation will become 282.8 in this particular case. Now once you calculate this particular mean and standard deviation, uh, you need to put those values in this equation so that you will be able to calculate the normalized value here. So in the first case, uh, the x value is 200. So 200 minus uh, mean is 500 divided by 282.8 that is standard deviation. You will get the normalized value as minus 1.06. Similarly, second normalized value with respect to 300 is uh, minus 0 0.707. Third one is uh, minus 0.3. 354, fourth one is 0.354 and fifth one is 1.77 here. So that is what I have written here. These are the normalized values with respect to z-score normalization using mean and standard deviation. Now I will discuss the next normalization technique that is z-score normalization with mean absolute deviation. So in this case uh, we use this particular equation that is z is equal to x minus mu divided by a here. a is nothing but a mean absolute deviation. So in this case there is only one change we have done with respect to z-score normalization. In z-score normalization we use standard deviation here. In this case we use mean absolute deviation. So mean will not change. The mean will become again 500 over here. But the mean absolute deviation a is equal to the cardinality of the data point that is x minus this particular 500. 500 is nothing but mean over here. So 200 minus 500 plus 300 minus 500 plus 400 minus 500 and so on the last one is 1000 minus 500 here divided by the total number of data points that is 5 and if you solve it you will get uh, 240 in this particular case so one more thing you need to remember this is absolute value so 200 minus 500 is equal to 300 in this case 300 minus 500 is equal to 200 and so on so once you get this particular mean and uh, the mean absolute uh, deviation we need to put this values in this particular equation that is uh, z is equal to x minus mu divided by a over here. So in the first iteration uh, the x value is equal to again 200 here. So 200 minus uh, mean that is 200 uh, 500 divided by 240 that is the mean absolute deviation. So the answer is equal to minus 1.25. The second iteration uh, the x will become 300. We will get uh, the 
normalized value as minus 0 0.833 next one is minus 0 0.417 next one will be 0 0.417 and finally we will get 2.08 as the normalized value with respect to 2000 here so this is how we can easily apply the z score normalization with mean and mean absolute deviation to get the normalized values over here the final normalization technique is the normalization using decimal scaling so in this case what we do is we will try to identify the value of this particular j that is uh, the smallest integer j such that phi i divided by x 10 raised to j is less than or equal to 1 here so phi i is the data point so what we need to do is we need to solve this particular equation so what we should do here is uh, we need to identify the maximum uh, max of phi i, phi i divided by 10 raised to j which is less than or equal to 1 over here so what we do is uh, in the first iteration i will show you with respect to this data point uh, if it is 200 that's the first data point divided by 10 raised to 1 if i take it will become uh, uh, 200 divided by 10 that will be 20 here so 20 is not less than equal to 1 so uh, j is equal to 1 not possible i will go with j is equal to 2 so 200 divided by 10 raised to 2 it will become 10 raised to 2 is how much 100 200 divided by 100 is again 2 2 is not less than equal to 1 here i will take uh, the next value that is uh, 3 so vi is 200 10 raised to 3 is equal to 1000 so 200 divided by 1000 is definitely less than equal to 1 over here so the minimum value in this particular case is uh, 3 over here so we will continue with the j is equal to 3 uh, so that we will be we will get this uh, equation satisfied over here uh, we, if you want to try it out with respect to the last data point you can try it over here 1000 divided by 10 raised to 3 1000 divided by 1000 that is equal to 1 which is less than equal to 1 over here so this particular j will work that is uh, j is equal to 3 in this case now what we do is uh, we will put this particular j value uh, in this equation and then we will try to get the value here so in the first iteration we will get 200 divided by 10 raised to 3 that is equal to 0 0.2 here in the next iteration uh, next data point that is uh, 300 divided by 10 raised to 3 that is 0.2 next one is 400 divided by 10 raised to 3 that is 0.4 next one is 600 divided by 10 raised to 3 0.6 last one is 1000 divided by 10 raised to 3 that is equal to 1 in this case so these are the normalized values for this particular uh, existing values over here so this is how uh, we can uh, perform normalization using a decimal scaling for the given data points in this video i have discussed what are the different normalization techniques are available in data mining and how to apply this particular normalization techniques on the given data set i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching